What do you do when one of your playwright tests fails? How do you find the cause? If you're anything like me, the first thing you do is watch the video of the test run. Hopefully the problem is so obvious, we can just see it visually here. In this case, the page looks fine. Playwright just can't find the button it's supposed to click. Where do we check next? Start by zooming out. If you're running your playwright test on a cadence, what's the pattern of failure? In this case here, some but not all checks failed for a while until everything failed. That might indicate something like an old fashioned memory leak, a problem which started at some point in the past and has been gradually getting worse. With any luck, we can connect the failure to a code deploy. In this example, some tests always succeed while others fail pretty consistently. One thing to check for with this comb-like pattern is to see if it's just one geographic region that's always failing. This could be network or localization issues that only affect one region. Going back to our first test, if there's not an obvious pattern to failures and the video didn't have answers, we want to load the trace. We may not find the root cause here, but the page state that led to the test failure should always be visible in the trace. We can scan through each content paint and see the exact playwright error that failed the test. Even more useful are the console showing everything that was logged and the network tab with every network request. On the network tab, we can sort by status code to skip the request that completed and only show the errors. Finally, it would be nice to scan our test code and the error message with an LLM for a summary and analysis. Fortunately, with Checkly, that's possible. The Explain with AI button describes the nature of the test and the scope of the failure in plain English. And you can get an explanation for what your test does functionally broken down into steps for what succeeded and what failed. In this case, the problem is actually most visible on a successful check run. It turns out that every run has failing requests for UI components that you can see in the console here. With this, we can investigate our backend for root causes.